All right, so I get asked about my brass prep method probably more than anything else. So I've been asked about it so many times, I figured I'd go ahead and do a video on it. It's probably way less in depth than you guys would imagine. So first off, these are cases fresh out of the tumbler. So I use plain old corn cob tumbling media. The reason being is I've been told and explained to by shooters who are far more accurate than I am that if just using plain corn cob or walnut tumbling media allows you to get lower SDs, lower standard deep or lower extreme spreads, and um, doesn't wear out your cases as fast as steel. So because when you are using steel media, the cases are getting beat up by the steel rolling around in the tumbler, um, it will tend to work the brass a little harder than it will in just a standard tumbler in a, in a corn cob or um, walnut tumbler. So because of that, your brass is not gonna wear out as fast. So, and your brass may not come out looking quite as pretty, but uh, to me, I don't care about pretty, I care about results. So take the cases, run them across the RCBS lube pad, get a little bit of lube just inside the neck of the case. I've already lubed all these. So now we're going to full length size. I bump the shoulder two to three thousandths of an inch. I deprime on the press. So I don't want it before I, before I tumble, I don't deprime. Um, so because of that, once I have deprimed on the press, I'm going to clean out my primer pocket with a primer pocket cleaner. I'm going to take a pipe cleaner, run it through the flash hole just to knock out any extra tumbling media that may be left in there. And then I'm going to take my case length measurement. Um, the overall length for a 7 Psalm, the case length, the maximum length is 2.035, so I'm a thousandth over that right now. So because I'm a thousandth over, I'm going to trim down three or four thousandths as long as I'm a little bit under that 2.035. Now I use a hand trimmer, always have, always will. I've never seen the reason to buy a fancy trimming machine. Um, I get just as good a results with a hand trimmer. So there we go. I'm 2,000 under that max length. So as long as I'm just under it, I'm okay with that. I'm going to chamfer and deburr. Blow the case out. Make sure there's no metal shavings left inside my case. And then I'm going to prime on the press. So that is it. That is a ready to go, ready to load seven song case. Um, now you guys may notice I'm not doing, I'm not worrying about concentricity. I'm not worrying about neck turning, any of that. Now you get, there may be, you may get better results if you are neck turning or checking your concentricity and all those things, but you're spending a lot more time. My goal is always to spend as little time at this bench as I can. I spend a lot of time here anyway, and if I can get away with taking away some of that time so I can spend more time with my family or more time shooting, um, that's what I'm gonna do. And I've found that I can get doing just this method here, I can get results like you guys see, um, sub 0.3 inches uh, with every group at 100 yards, and shooting fantastically even out to distance with low standard deviations, low extreme spread. So because of that, I will always use this method for my brass prep. Um, I don't ever see any reason to be chamfering or to be deburring or sorry, to be con checking the concentricity or to be uh, neck turning. So clean out the primer pocket. Check the flash hole. Take our length. That one under. That's about seven thousandths under max, so we are good with that. Prime on the press. So there you go. That's, there you have it. That is my method for brass prep. This is the same way I do every bolt action rifle that you guys see me shoot. Every piece of brass is prepped in this exact same method, um, and you guys see the results that I get. Um, now, this isn't to say if you have a method that works for you, that you guys have been doing, using for years, and you get results, or you get even better results, or you don't want to change, then don't, because 
if you have a method that works, everybody has their own method. And if you have a method that works for you, then that's the method you should probably stick with. This is the method that works for me. I've had great luck with it. And that's the method I'll continue to use. Well, under our max length. So, I hope this was helpful. I hope this answers the questions for all the times I've been asked, what is my brass prep method? Because this is it. There's nothing special to it. Just a little bit of attention to detail. And on top of that, when I'm done, one thing I didn't mention is before I put powder and bullets to these, I will take and wipe off the excess lube. Um, but beyond that, that is it. That is my brass prep method. So I hope this is helpful. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.